Hi, this is your host, Avalim Bhartia, and welcome to a brand new episode of our series, TFIR Topic of the Month, aka T3M. And this month's topic is Platform Engineering is DevOps Dead. And today we have with us Jonas Bonier, founder and CEO of Lightbend. Jonas, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. And as you know, this uh, discussion going on in the market uh, or ecosystem or industry, whatever uh, place you want to call it, that uh, we are starting to talk about platform engineering now. Uh, last year at KubeCon, there are some booths with the sign like DevOps is dead. Uh, but the fact is, <laughs> uh, I mean, it depends on which camp you are in. So, but before we jump into this uh, much wider discussion, I would like to hear from you, how would you define platform engineering? Yeah, it's a, it's a fairly new fairly new term, and it's, but I think it's sort of a, at, the bo- at the heart of it, it addresses old problems. And uh, you know, the way I see it is that it's, it's a way to try to address and mask in all the complexity that we have today in, in, in cloud native and cloud native inf- infrastructure. Essentially just, not, I'm saying just in quotes, but you know, just trying to optimize developer productivity and 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 uh, doing so by often allocating a dedicated team, building out an internal platform, an internal team at a, at a large corporation, building out an internal platform that that sort of help building out tool chains, uh, workflows, etc., and essentially providing sort of self service for the for the internal d- development teams that that the company has, you know, as a essentially all boils down to that infrastructure is very, very hard today, it's really hard to to manage uh, the complexity of, of the richness of the, you know, so it's, it's not just bad, you know, but, it's, you know, we got this complexity, because there's so there's too many de- de- decisions, there's too many products, there's too many things to integrate. And how do you make sense of all of that, they can be daunting. And, and and in if you if you, if you, if you then have a dedicated platform team that can like focus on on on, on taking most of these decisions and providing higher level primitives and work in and in, in managing you know very hard things like security you know making sure that you're, you're under compliance and and also and all of, all of these things so that the, the that the dev teams are liberated or sort of set free to focus on what they are best at doing writing the business logic etc. Et so so that's how I think about platform engineering. How is this approach, and of course, building a platform in, internally for consumption, but if you look at from the discipline side of thing, uh, practices, you know, how different is it from, let's say, DevOps or SREs? DevOps been around for quite a while, and and the way, you know, the way I, I, I view the de- DevOps is that it's, 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 it's there's probably many definitions, but I, I think DevOps is, is mostly useful as a way to optimize the development process, getting getting rigor into it, and and also op- optimizing the application in terms of performance, availability, and scale, and ensuring that it op- you know it executes optimally. You know you can operate it re- reliably, and all of those things. While Platform engineering is really about optimizing the developer experience. And the, as, as I just said before, the developer experience for your internal teams. And, and so in, in, a, in a way, instead of optimizing, you know, things like I said, performance availability process and stuff, it sort of, it's, it's, instead it gives tools to the developer teams to sort of effic- efficiently tackle these challenges themselves in a way, but through higher level abstractions to most of the decisions being taken already for them, limited options, but probably the right options for, for your organization. So, so it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of, of, of difference in terms of goal, I'd say, you know, I mean, but they, they of course blend uh, and overlap a lot. You have been talking about uh, when you're explaining uh, platform engineering that it's about developer experience. I want to talk about developer experience, but I also want to kind of uh, quickly uh, address the elephant in the room uh, that is DevOps really dead and why do we heal that? Of course, you know, it's easy. I mean, when something new comes comes out, it's very easy to, to always think that the, the old thing is dead. You know, of course, there's very far from the truth. You know, the internal development teams that, 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 that provide platform engineering, I mean, they, of course, use de- de- DevOps practices, etc. cetera. But, but I, you know, the way I view it is that it's, for first, you know, it's, of course, not dead. But, but I don't think it should be 
long term, at least, you know, if we if we think about this as a new trend that will st stay and the, at least within large organizations, I, I don't think it's that DevOps should be sucking up internal resources from from the from the dead from the dev teams any, anymore. And, and we are increasingly seeing that, that 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 you know the ops part of DevOps should be handled somewhere somewhere else, or more often more efficiently handled some somewhere else. And 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 I think the reason for this drive is that is that you know even the Kubernetes and and you know the whole CNCF CNCF ecosystem is amazing. You know we we owe too, so so much to it. It's actually easy to forget how good it is because we're almost taking it for granted now, but it has grown over, overwhelmingly complex. And and it's really only the in in my experience, you know, talking to our customers and, and so on, is is really the most only the most well well funded de developer teams that can really navigate this complexity in in a, in a, in a really good way and 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 truly deliver you know ROI quickly to their organizations. And and I think this is you know this is the reason why we why we start to see no ops talked a lot about about a lot. No ops is really of course it's. It's not about removing operations, but it's about delegating operations as a way to mask the complexity of of of, uh, of building these systems for the for the for the dev teams. And and uh, you know, thinking about how we got there, you know, I mean, serverless was of course extremely ground groundbreaking. I've talked a lot about that in the past. You know, we owe a lot of the I think the showing what what possible in terms of future of of cloud development to to serverless. So it was definitely groundbreaking, but 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 um, but it but it was it didn't you know get us all the way I think the the this the ability to like hide complexity and manage complexity for non-trivial mission critical apps is still very hard for most teams and this is why I really bet and we at Lipen of course also really bet on on no ops you know or zero ops or whatever you want to call it I think I think this year is it has matured and I really think that. Uh, that it will and more and more vendors will provide no op solutions to developers to to deliver the you know just the right set of abstractions it's you don't want to abstract away too much you know because then you, then you can't do anything useful but 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 like sort of climbing this ladder of abstractions you know something i owe is like a metaphor i'm trying i'm always using when i talk about these things you know we've been doing that as an industry many many times you know from you know from, from assembly code from machine code to assembly code to c you know and then in the infrastructure space you know for through containers kubernetes and all the whole ecosystem on top of that in many different areas and i think it's it's time again now to to abstract over all this great infrastructure that we, that we currently have simply to set the developers free to yet again focus on what's most important and um, you know one one thing that that one sort of term that I I really believe in you know that sort of, or, or or term more of a, a trend is this infrastructure inferred from code you know where you where you where you where you can based on the code itself uh, uh, sort of infer the infrastructure needed to to drive that code sort of for through annotations in the code or or, or configurations and stuff but but yeah, that you simply just. Uh, uh, that the developer only need to focus on the code and the infrastructure and everything that needs is like inferred from that and and man and sort of um, delivered by the flap by the platform in and like zero ops no ops way and you know what's really exciting about that and what we see at, at Lipen is that this really enables smaller firms to compete on equal ground with with, with larger organizations um, which is which I, I, I find is quite quite um, yeah, quite quite amazing, actually. What do you really mean by developer experience? Number one, number two is that what companies can do to improve their developer experience, and number three is that how does that fit into platform engineering? I, th I think this developer experience, I, I guess, is a word that probably has many definitions, and and depending on on who you, who you, who you ask. But but for me, I think it's. It's probably two things, you know. First is like this sort of the sum in a sort of an abstract way, sort of this the sum of the responsibilities that we ask of a developer team, and that combined with the tools and 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 in and, and you know the enabling practices that are available to meet these responsibilities. So so it's effectively getting the job done, and uh, and you know it's. Uh, I have to say again, you know, it's like the more responsibilities that we that we put on the developers. The, the less focused time they can have on on writing business logic, essentially the driving the application forward in terms of features. 
So in a way, you know the, that you know this. So that means that you know they can't move as fast, and then and and then you have to add more resources to get where you need to be, which means which means more is going to be more costly for the organizations, essentially, etc. So I really think that it's like you know everyone wants to move move faster, and and time to market is 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 very important today, and 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 it's it's it, and and you know speed is 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 still a competitive advantage. But 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 also you know we we see a lot that 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 that, that the companies are trying to reduce cost, so 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 and so 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 you know and and balancing these is very is very hard and I think if you get confused by the by the cloud native infrastructure space and 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 you know and get stuck there and then then you simply can't move as fast with the with the small amount of resources that you that you might have so that I think that's why the focus on developer experience is is so important. And is 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 arising yet again, you know, as as, as one of the more important things. And and uh, yeah. So can you also talk about, you know, how does this platform engineering approach also enables, you know, teams to bring back that developer experience to them? You know, platforms and platform engineering is really all about having a qualified team internally to 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 build out a platform that abstracts away all the complexities of 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 or not all but most of the complexities of the underlying infra infrastructure and 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 a team that understands the business in the company that that that, that you, and often and hopefully you know also what each you know team development team in the organization is is trying to accomplish which might be different in different companies but but the the, you know, I think the benefit here is that you have one skilled team that are able to provide the right abstractions in terms of developer experience for each one of these teams, or or the collective needs of of of, of their development teams, and and taking because if you have if you have like if you're overwhelmed with the decisions, you know, perhaps not all decisions should be taken by the at, at at the lower level. Some decisions might be key to actually take higher up but deciding on so what to abstract and not to abstract and what to delegate to the to, to the developer teams to take control over and and what to take you know once and for all by the by the by the sort of internal de developer platform i think that's something that is that's a skill but that's you know it's for the essence of, of platform engineering and through that process you know come up with the best developer experience for for your internal teams um, and as I said that will look different for different organizations and and, and perhaps different division de developer teams that you are trying to serve through this internal developer platform as well uh, but this is all about optimizing the speed as I, as you can deliver each one of these teams can deliver features and 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 not being overwhelmed by by choice and and uh, drowning complexity what is advice do you have because what happens in today's world as you were talking about we are talking about kubernetes a lot of new technologies are coming out and a lot of new companies they get all overwhelmed hey we have to now embrace platform engineering they don't even know what platform engineering is and so so what is your approach how they should approach uh, you know these kind of practices so that they don't start with, hey, that is the big buzzword we should embrace. They should start with, hey, what are we trying to do here? And I start asking questions. So, so what is your approach for them? Uh, for what, what is your advice for them to approach platform engineering in the right way? First, I think you have you you, you need to understand if you really need platform engineering. There, is, I mean, it's it is a big investment, and we've seen it used for you know a few a few a few, a few years, and not not always succeed. Uh, at least, at least that I've seen, and you know, and and it's and it's so it it, it is a big endeavor for sure. It, 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 I think it can really maximize the value long term, but it's it's not something that should like a decision that should be taken lightly. I think uh, there are you know um, public platforms and, and and public services that can give you you know some of that. Of course, they are not tailored for your organization and for your specific needs. Uh, uh, but you know, if 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 they are general enough, you know, no ops type of solutions, serverless type of solutions, you know, infrastructure inferred from code type of solutions, you know, and we're building one in 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 Lightband. I think that that can serve our you know, our type of customers very very well. But but I think you should start with you know one level up. You know, I mean, everyone wants to move faster, and 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 it's and it's really about simplifying and abstracting and try to automate as much as absolutely possible. And, and and I think that is true more today than than ever. 
you know, but let's just, if we just look around, you know, it's like we're living in a world that's 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 sort of shaken by a lot of a lot of a lot of global changes. You know, we that imp- impacts, of course, businesses, but also we as 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 humans and, and society. You know, things like I mean, wars and conflicts, and you know, still lingering pandemic, and and we're going into recession and etc. And and of course, these these uh, all these issues are interwoven and they and they multiply. You know, by you know, in, by the impact of each other. And and they affect the businesses, you know. At the same time, as you know, as I said before, we, the companies still need to deliver features fast to customers. That will never stop. That will always be the case. And 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 speed is a competitive advantage, and 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 so on. But at the same time, we need now, I think, more than ever uh, this year, you know, uh, manage costs and resources. You know, many, many large corporations are laying off, you know, thousands of people. And, and it's because everyone realizes that we need to manage the cost. Still, we need to deliver features for our customers. So, so you know, that brings me to, to, to my passion. Is, and that's really about abstracting, you know, climbing this ladder of abstraction, do more with less. And provide solutions and developer platforms uh, that help developers to focus on the code. If that is through a, an, uh, like a develop, uh, sort of in, uh, some some sort of internal developer platform, or if you reach for more general uh, platforms that are available, you know that's a decision each organization need to be, need, need to be uh, making themselves. But the key is here, like, is try to delegate as much as absolutely possible. You know, and 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 of, you know, often when you ask engineers, they like to do the nitty gritty details because they feel it makes them feel empowered and they like the control. But but so my message to these to a lot of these engineers, like let go of control. You know, you actually don't you you don't need to turn every knob. You don't need to have control over everything. Have some have some faith, you know, and delegate. That will free you up to focus on the stuff that really matters. I think. <laughs> Dinas, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this topic. And as well, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really enjoyed being here and, and talking with you. It's a, it's, a, it's a topic I'm very passionate about. So thank you.